A-level chemistry quick test video on buffers and neutralization. So for the purpose of this video we're focusing on buffer calculations so here's a couple to get started with. So if you want to have a go at those pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. So the first one's pretty straightforward. We're given the acid concentration and the salt concentration and the Ka for the weak acid. So all we need to do is plug it into the formula for the H plus concentration for a buffer, which I remember with the word casid over salt. So all we need to do is plug those numbers into that. So we get an H plus concentration of 3.69 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per decimeter cubed. And then to turn that into a pH, we just minus log that number and you get an answer of 3.43. The second one, we've got to calculate the relative concentrations of the acid to salt, sometimes known as the acid to salt ratio. So we're given the pH and the Ka of the weak acid. Again, this is all centered around that acid over salt expression, so we'll get that on the screen now. The acid to salt ratio is actually that part of the expression there. So we just need to get rid of the Ka term. So if we divide the other side by Ka, we get that. And then we need to work out the H plus concentration from the pH. So that's 10 to the minus 4.11 over that Ka value. And that gives you 4.46. So this acid to salt ratio is 4.46. So therefore the acid needs to be 4.46 times the concentration of the salt. Okay, so here's the second question. So again, if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answer. So the first thing we need to do is work out the moles of salt, sodium ethanoate that's being used. So mass over MR, 0.04 moles of salt. Now the volume is one decimeter cubed, so therefore the concentration of the salt will also be 0.04. We're given the acid concentration, 0.01 moles per decimeter cubed. So we've got everything now for acid over salt. So we've just put the numbers in. We get an H plus concentration of that minus log 5.36. So for the second part, the first thing we've got to do is work out the moles of H plus ions that are being added to the buffer solution from this addition of HCl. So just concentration times volume. So is that many moles of H plus going into the buffer? And that's going to upset the equilibrium. So there's the buffer equilibrium. We're increasing the H plus ions ever so slightly. And that's going to shift the buffer to the left. And because we know the amount of H plus ions that are going in, we can actually calculate how the moles of the two components of the buffer are going to change. So the moles of ethanoic acid are going to increase by that 0.001. So they'll go from their original moles up to this many moles. The moles of salt will decrease by the, that amount because the equilibrium is going that way. So that will go down from the 0.04 moles that we had up here to 0.039 moles. Now the other thing to be aware of is the buffer volume has changed ever so slightly because we've put 10 cm cubes in so what we need to do now is calculate the new concentrations of the key components. So the new volume for the buffer is 1.01 of a decimeter cubed. So the new concentrations of acid and salt are those numbers there. So that's just moles over volume. But remember the volume's got to be in dm cubed. So now we know the acid and salt concentration. We already knew the Ka value it was given at the top of the question. We put them into acid over salt and we get an H plus concentration of 4.91 times 10 to the minus 6 moles per decimeter cubed minus log that 